Hey, what's up, everybody? It's DJ Mac right now, and uh, right now I'm gonna mess with the Korg Volca FM for the very first time. Um, <clears throat> as you see, I did my unboxing video, and I'm just ready to really test this thing out with Tractor. So, um, what I have here is I have it connected to my mixer, which is a Z. I'm using my Z2 mixer, and um, it says um, in the instructions to get this to work with um, Tractor's. Um, uh, MIDI clock. Um, I have to make sure that the function is uh, set to auto. So it says hold the function button and turn it on. And then hit the number six button on the Volca and make sure that it says um, auto on it. So it should say uh, AUT on it. And then hit the record button. And then, uh, then I could plug my. Uh, there's my MIDI um, wire here that's connecting via USB. So I connect this into here, and then the other side goes to the computer. So make sure that I'm using the MIDI out. The MIDI out is the is the black one, and that's going to go directly inside. Make sure it's nice and firm in there. All right. Um, that should be pretty much it. It's, at this point, um, it's all to Tractor to actually receive, um, actually to uh, send out MIDI, and this will receive uh, the MIDI information. So, um, what I do right now is go into my preferences in Tractor, and then uh, we're gonna try going to our Control Manager. Oh, I'm sorry, first, um, our MIDI clock, make sure that's on, um, and MIDI clock is playing at this point, and it is syncing, wow, once I hit sync, it started working <laughs> automatically, Once I hit the uh, pause button on here, it stopped. So Just instantly, instantly works right away. And I'm gonna try to uh, load in. Try slowing it down. Yep. Yeah. Wow. We said pause for the traffic on here, which works great because I can, you know play my tempo whenever I want to um, and yeah so I'm gonna, what I'm going to do here is try to play a song in here and um, see if it will uh, go according to you know if it will ma match up really But uh, I am excited that it actually is responding like exactly the way it's supposed to. Um, this is dope. Like I'm, I'm really hyped right now. Um, but yeah, if you're wondering, um, it works. Like it really works. <laughs> Let's see what I got here. You know what? I think I know what I want to play. So right here. All right. So what I'm gonna do is try this out here. Hold up. Hold me back like 
Shit's night right now, cause like I just it was just so easy. It was just hit hit the play button. That was it. That it was done. Once I hit the sync from the uh, midi clock here, it was it was done. Um, obviously, I I'm gonna like go crazy with this and um, figure out you know what um, synth goes with what song, but it it works. Like there's no like other pre-programming you have to do you just you know make sure the function when you turn it on is uh set to auto and that's it like wow this this is no other thing to do we just have fun so i didn't expect this to be this long but i'm having fun with this peace to the next video <laughs>